Here at CBS Philadelphia, we follow up. A group of artists painting portraits of the people taken hostage by Hamas during the October 7th attack on Israel has been looking for a place to display their work. And now those portraits are on display at a museum in Old City. Josh Sanders got an exclusive look at the exhibit the artists are calling their portraits. Looking back at us. This is the day these artists have been waiting for. There's a connectivity for me amongst them and amongst the eight of us with them. Displaying their connection with the 240 people they began painting last year. So this shows each individual as they were naive, smiling, happy, a life to look forward to. Looking into their eyes um, for hours, you know, while you're painting, like really makes them like part of you. You can't, you can't help. Um, Feeling. Just so completely innocent. A connection that began in tragedy after the Hamas led attack on an Israeli kibbutz, killing hundreds and abducting both young and old. So young, you can't even imagine how that will affect the rest of his life. You're trying to paint somebody, envisioning them alive and well and having the life that they were living. These women say they are deeply connected through faith and family, using their love of art to process the grief that continues to weigh on their community. Their personal tributes now on display at the Weizmann National Museum of American Jewish History. I didn't have any gun, I didn't know how to protect myself. But when I went there, my, my, my brother's uh, body was still there. Aviv Nakmias and Avital Ialiv were in Israel the day of the deadly attack. They are family of friends, people I served with, uh, let's say, Tal Chaimi, served with me in the same uh, reserve uh, unit in the army. And coming here and knowing that people spend a lot of hours painting person by person, that I know a lot of their families from my duty role, is moving. You know, I'm a Philadelphia girl. I've lived here all my life. And this is my community, but Israel's my community too. And I'm hoping that the people who come here can see that and feel it. With the realities of war still fresh, artist Sivia Katz Bronstein believes the connection she and her fellow artists have with each portrait is a connection others will find hope in. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia.